Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats. My name is Nick Tan and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about something called Fragrance, released by Calyx. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in and thanks for spending some time with me today. So uh, I've been away for a while, I uh, just recently took uh, a little trip uh, over to Japan where I spent uh, a week. Um, during my you know trip over there, I think, uh, you know, magic-wise, I managed to actually drop by uh, this really cool place. Uh, this is called the Half Moon um, Magic Bar, all right, that is uh, located in Tokyo. And uh, I must say, the show that was performed by uh, Hide Yamamoto, uh, it was a really good show, you know, it was, a, it was like a bar magic uh, kind of a show. And I really, really enjoyed myself, you know, uh, his magic was, you know, just so authentic, so sincere, and I think the whole Japanese thing about it, you know, made it really charming as well, and I really, really got uh, a lot out of it. So yes, uh, the Half Moon uh, Magic Bar in Tokyo, you know, if you are in Japan, uh, I do recommend uh, you drop by uh, for the show. Also, you know, I've been busy with work. Uh, in fact, uh, immediately after this uh, video, you know, I need to go off and uh, prepare for a show this evening. Um, and I'm also actually working on uh, a theatre show as well, right? Uh, where I'm performing uh, my show, uh, something that's, that's called uh, a psychic experience, you know? So uh, I'm just looking forward to that and uh, keeping myself busy, you know, with all things uh, related to my work. But uh, enough about me, you know, I do tend to ramble a little bit about my own life and I recently actually got <laughs> um, an email uh, from a viewer on my channel, uh, you know, saying that, you know, he, he, he likes what I do but he doesn't really care for me, you know, spending time to update you guys about my life because, you know, it's, it's time wasted. So, um, yeah, ouch, you know, but um, <laughs> I, I do, I, I, I know where you're coming from. All right, so let's get down to it. So today, uh, this is uh, something called Fragrance that is released by Calyx, uh, and uh, it's done by the guys over at Magic Dream uh, over in France. And uh, you know, they contacted me and asked if I would like to take a look at this, and I, I said yes. You know, it's not the kind of effect that I would normally um, perform. You know, but it looked really interesting, right? I thought it was a really unique uh, kind of an effect, and so uh, I agreed to do the review for them. So before we get into what the product is, all right, the, the stuff that you receive, let me tell you a little bit about the effect. Okay, so the effect is that of um, a smell or, or a scent transference kind of an effect. Okay, so what happens uh, in the basic performance of the effect is you have two spectators, you know, with you. Uh, this can be done close up, can be done on stage as well. Um, and you produce like a small bottle, you know, of uh, like, you know, the sample bottles, you know, of like a fragrance, like a scent of some kind. You know, you uncap it, you have people smell and they can smell that, let's say it's a kind of a, a strawberry uh, kind of a fragrance, right? So you have one spectator hold out their hand, you spritz a little bit on, on their palm uh, and, you know, they can smell it and yeah, you know, the smell is there and you have them close their hand, all right, into a fist. You have another spectator close their hand into a fist and from here what happens is you mime kind of removing the scent from this person's fist over here and then just kind of transferring it across to the other side. Uh, right now, what happens is when they open their hand and they now smell their palm, the smell is gone. Okay, uh, the, the scent is no longer there. They, they can't smell anything, right? This can be verified by a couple of people. And the other spectator will then open their palm and then when they smell it, the scent is, is there, all right? It's, it's kind of transferred across and again, it can be verified by all who are watching the effect with them. So yeah, you know, as I said, right, it's, it's quite a unique effect. Uh, I'm not familiar with, with these sorts of things. I mean, the closest um, kinds of effects like that, you know, it, it immediately reminded me of like, um, you know, ashes on the palm, you know, that sort of thing where, you know, something vanishes from one hand and appears in the other. Um, and uh, there've been other effects like that as well. I think um, double cross, you know, uh, where, you know, and a little X transfers to another spectator perhaps. So yeah, those kinds of effects, right? And I think the only other uh, similar or related effect would be something like PK touches, you know, where, you know, you touch one spectator and the other person kind of feels uh, the touches. So, um, well, this is similar in, in that regard. However, uh, it's unique because it deals with uh, scent, all right, the, the smell. 
Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, what you get inside the box right now. So this is what the box looks like, okay? Uh, it comes to you like this, and inside the box you will get uh, some, some stuff, okay? So the first thing you will notice when you open the box is you'll be greeted by uh, a really nice looking object, okay, that resembles uh, everyone's favorite marker, okay, uh, Sharpie. Uh, it's really well made, you know, it looks exactly like a Sharpie, um, but um, really well made, really easy to use as well, and this is what makes the effect, I think, uh, really practical to, to use, to carry with you, uh, and to perform as well. And then you will also receive two of these kind of like small spray bottles, all right, for you to carry the, the scent around as well, all right, the thing that you spray onto the, the spectator's palm. Okay, so you get two of these, uh, and that's it, okay? And of course, inside uh, on the lid, you'll get the links to the instructional videos. Now, the instructional videos comes to you uh, in two formats. Uh, there'll be one in French, which obviously I didn't watch because my French is, is terrible, um, and then uh, English as well, all right? So the tutorial runs for about uh, I think an hour or so, you know, and on the tutorial, uh, you will have Calyx uh, along with the guys over at Magic Dream, and they will take you through, you know, everything you need to know about, uh, you know, fragrance, okay, H how to perform the effect, you know, what you get inside the box, how to set up uh, the effect as well, how to prep um, your, your gimmick and how to carry it with you. And then uh, there'll be some live performance clips as well, so you get an idea right of how the effect uh, plays out uh, for a live audience they will then take you through uh, a studio performance of the effect as well and guide you through uh, how to um, perform the whole thing from start to finish on top of that they will also give you uh, other ideas uh, that you can use uh, fragrance with right uh, in conjunction with other routines as well so I think when we look at magic uh, items, right, magic releases, you know, I think the question that comes to our mind is, um, you know, would I use that, right? And uh, I think if you are a close-up performer, this is something that is quite uh, easy to carry around, you know, it's really straightforward. In fact, the method is just so simple, you know, and um, the effect created um, based on, you know, the kind of method that you use, right? It's, it's just really out of proportion because I think the method is just so simple but you get a lot of effect um, out of it, you know? And um, the method itself, well, the basic concept is really simple but I think what really makes this work uh, really well is the choreography, all right? I felt that, um, you know, the, the choreography, the, the choreography, the choreography, the... I felt that the choreography uh, is what really sells this effect. It's something really clever, you know, uh, when I first uh, saw the effect, um, I mean, I kind of understood what was going on, but one little bit kind of escaped me, you know, and then when I watched uh, the explanations, I was just like, of course, you know, uh, so um, that was a really clever bit, you know, I think if you do get this, um, you understand what I mean. But in terms of who would use this, I think close-up performers definitely, you know, you, you can definitely use this. It's easy to carry around, really practical to use, easy to get into it, and um, there's nothing to, to clean up as well. It's something that you can perform, you know, um, strolling, right, mingling, you know, mix and mingle kind of uh, environment. So I don't know how long the gimmick can last uh, with just one round of prep work. You know, but it's not something that you you know you need to reset uh, immediately after every single performance. You know, I, I mean, I do believe that you can get uh, quite a good few performances out of just one uh, round of prep. You know, but even then, reloading all right the gimmick uh, is really simple to do, and it, I think it really just takes you like a minute, you know, to to get that done. Pocket space wise, all you need is really just like you know your outside breast pocket right of your jacket um, the sharpie kind of goes in there and and you're set if you are working on stage you know uh, this works just as well you know I mean it's like think of it like PK touches you know I mean you can perform PK touches close up right I mean I've done it many many times but I also do perform PK touches on stage you know so I think the only difference in um, whether you perform it close up or you know on stage is the the kind of staging that you give it you know because on stage you know you there's a way to kind of position people to make the effect play bigger and you know your theatrics as well uh, will kind of sell the effect bigger all right but for stage you know the method is exactly the same and um, it's not really a method that is um, going to affect all right whether you perform it on close up you know close up environments or on stage. So as it stands, um, the, the package, right, when it comes to you, uh, it's complete in the, the hardware that you require, 
okay, to perform the effect. You will need to get something else, okay, that um, will enable you to perform the effect fully, you know, and the item um, that you require, you know, I, I won't mention it here uh, online for, for a couple of reasons. Uh, well, number one, to kind of, I don't know, protect the secret, I suppose, um, but you can find out that information uh, on the Magic Dream website. Okay, so I will leave the link uh, in the description box down below. Do a go over and have a look. They'll give you all the information you need uh, as to what else you require. Okay, so the first reason why I'm not mentioning it is because, well, it's to kind of protect the, the secret, I suppose. Um, the second reason is due to legality issues. Okay, so the only thing, uh, the only issue for me here uh, in Singapore is that the required thing is illegal. Okay, so we don't we don't have that here. I'm sure it's really easy to get it uh, overseas, you know, wherever you guys are, you know, in the States, Europe, um, but over here it's, it's impossible to get it like, um, well, legally. Okay, uh, so that's all I will say about it. You know, I don't, I don't want to uh, talk too much about, about it. Um, yeah, but all in, you know, uh, fragrance is a is a really unique effect. You know, I've I've not come across something like that before. You know, I'm sure there are other things out there. I think um, I overheard someone kind of uh, talking about something else called aroma or something like that. I'm not sure, but um, fragrance to me is, is just like that. You know, it's just a unique effect. I've, I've not seen it before. And I think um, if you do add this uh, to your show, I think it does add um, some texture, you know, a, a different kind of dimension to it as well, because not only are you kind of, you know, performing for people's eyes, you know, or, you know, their mind, I suppose, if you're doing, you know, mind reading stuff. But this also deals with um, their sense of smell, you know. So I think uh, in that regard, uh, it's quite a unique effect, you know. And I think uh, the effect is really strong because it's, it just seems quite impossible, you know, that the smell, you know, uh, and the smell, I, I think, all right, based on my experiences with the product, that is required, okay, it's, it's really strong, you know, so it's, you know, when, when you sniff at it, it's quite inexplicable to suddenly sniff at it again and realize that it's no longer there, all right? And this happens in the spectator's hands as well. So I think um, because it deals with their, you know, in their hands, you know, I think uh, that's what makes it a really strong effect. But all in again, you know, just to summarize, you know, it's a really strong effect, really practical, uh, easy to carry around, um, setting it up, it takes really just like a minute, you know, and once you're done, you're good to go for quite a good number of performances until you need to kind of uh, top up again, okay? And um, the choreography uh, is really clever, and uh, that is what makes uh, the effect work, I think. So if you do get this, you know, do make sure you get down the whole, you know, choreo, Right, just to make sure that you can perform the effect smoothly and I think uh, you will have quite a strong piece that uh, you can add to your repertoire. All right, I want to thank uh, the guys over at Magic Dream for really kindly sending over a copy of Fragrance for me to chat about on this show. Uh, if you'd like to uh, have a look at uh, Fragrance and uh, perhaps get a copy for yourself as well, I will leave the link for Magic Dream in the description box down below. All right, but that's all for today's episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it as well. Um, till the next episode, uh, do stay safe, take care of yourselves, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on the next one.